What's going on YouTube? Snapshot with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys some awesome news coming into the Destiny world. This is very, very detailed, guys. I actually put a script together and I never do that. So I really hope this commentary is not too boring, but it will bring you guys everything you need to know or what we know so far about the dawning event, which will be coming here December 13th. It's a Tuesday weekly reset. You already knew that. And it's going to go all the way until January 3rd. Speaking of January 3rd, coincidentally, if TKO Gaming can get to 50,000 subscribers by January 3rd, I will be doing a console giveaway, brand new console of either the PS4 Pro or the Xbox Slim, and it's going to be the winner's choosing. So please do subscribe. Everything's in the description below in terms of linking with us. Anyways, let's get into the details, okay? All right. Starting off, there will be new exotic weapons coming in. The Solar Lord, the Void Lord, and the year three icebreaker man i'm so excited solar lord will be the solar version of the thunder lord void lord will be the void version of the thunder lord now both weapons will act exactly like the thunder lord just the different damage type year three icebreaker is an exciting one for those of you who are new to destiny who never really got a chance to witness the amazingness of the freaking icebreaker i'm telling you guys it's awesome year three meaning it's going to be up to par with all the pve strikes and raids and damage and all that beautiful stuff it's great guys you're gonna love it anyways the year three icebreaker you will be able to get through the news of all the strike bounties i'm going to talk about that a little bit later in this video all right now along with this december 13th mini update ish event well we're going to have SRL come back. For those of you who are new to Destiny who don't know what SRL is, SRL is the Sparrow Racing League. And well, it's pretty much where you just race your opponents in the Crucible and hopefully get first and then you get rewards, yada, yada, yada. Well, cool thing is there's going to be four new tracks for this, okay? It's going to be exciting. It's either four new tracks or two regular tracks and two new tracks, like two of the old tracks. I don't know what it is. But it's freaking exciting and I hope you guys are excited about it. Cool thing is about this event, because of you know the event being done January 3rd, SRL, you will still be able to play in private matches. It's pretty tight. Alright, so you guys know SRL will come with its own set of gear. It's going to be all race oriented, you know, give you all them racing perks. Nothing really for the Crucible. However, there will be new character armor sets. Right now, we see that there are two new sets per class. Don't quote me on that because there's a little confusion on whether it's going to be the Treasure of Dawning. Uh, that's going to have its own character set. And then um, the regular event itself is going to have its set. And then the SRL is going to have its set as well. So don't quote me on the exact number, but there are going to be some cool new character armor sets coming and i really really hope that at least the treasure of the dawning will be not only hard to obtain but also worth it it's going to look cool for all three classes because right now there's no set at all that i really like for any class um anyway so the next thing is weapon ornaments new weapon ornaments is coming i'm happy about this there's a little bit of backlash with the community on what they're about to do, and I'm going to get into it. So, for each of the weapons I'm about to state, there's two new weapon ornaments for each. The Last Word, Red Death, Thorn, Icebreaker, and Black Spindle. Cool thing is, Last Word and Thorn primarily used in the Crucible or PvP. Red Death, Icebreaker, and Black Spindle are primarily used in PvE, raids, strikes, etc. So, they have a pretty good balance. In the category of weapons there in terms of where you would use those weapons and um i've seen some of the ornaments uh for those weapons they look pretty badass i cannot i mean just to say a couple off the top of my head red death has this cool white and red looking thing hashtag tko gaming colors um also speaking on that there will be a new tko gaming logo you know showing up on twitter soon make sure you guys follow there at real tko gaming um, and then for the icebreaker, they have this cool army camo one. Uh, it's pretty tight. So the changes they're doing to getting the ornaments, uh, this, it's a good thing and bad thing. Bad thing is they're tacking on to their microtransactions. So what you'll be able to do is for 25 silver, you can go and buy the exact weapon ornament you want from the Eververse kiosk. 
Eververse kiosk. I messed that up. But keeping that in mind, you know, people are like, ah, that's horrible. Now Zer will not be coming with those random ornaments anymore. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, it's a business, so I can understand. All right, whatever. It doesn't affect the game. It doesn't affect who is going to be able to complete a raid when it doesn't affect who's going to do better in the crucible okay it's just for looks it's aesthetics that's all it is another cool thing is consumables like a siva snowman and an engram snow globe will be coming in to deck your characters out it'll be similar to the festival of the lost where you can pop a consumable and then your head will turn into a pumpkin or whatever the hell it was um five new srl emblems are going to be dropping and aside from that, two new dawning event emblems will be dropping. Pretty excited about that. However, I feel like emblems just get played out way, 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 way too fast. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they need to add a level of difficulty for just one of the emblems. So not like the whole community has it because there's no fun in that, right? Uh, there will be a new emote coming in. It will be a good game emote. Uh, my speculation is it'll probably be a thumbs up or a handshake. I don't know. Freaking, I don't know. A pat on the back. I don't know. Good game. Um, there will be strike scoring. Oh man, this is beautiful. There will be strike scoring now. I know you guys hate it when people come into strikes and they don't freaking play or do any of that. So now there will be gold, silver, and bronze tier for strikes. And there will be bounties for those. And there will be tracked through a strike score record book. That's pretty cool. Biggest thing is skeleton key drop rates are increasing substantially. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I've heard so many complaints from the whole community regarding this. And then the last thing I want to just add is there will be three strikes that are remastered into being SIVA formed. So three old strikes, Shadow Thief, Nexus Mind, and Will of Crota will be SIVA remastered. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video brought you some good knowledge for the events. I really hope if you like the video, please do hit a thumbs up on the video. It helps a lot. Comment below if you're going to be coming back to Destiny or you're excited about the new content. And please do subscribe to the channel. Everything you need to know about us can be found in the description below. Connect with us. There's a lot of great things coming up. I love you guys. Have a great week and peace out.